What's going on, everybody? What you're looking at right now is a complete recap of if you had the rookie premiere Marshawn Lattimore or if you, you know, you were lucky enough to pull or buy the NFL honors Marshawn Lattimore. Now, you can see that I already have the card, so I don't really need to do anything like that. The only thing that it's missing is the pick six chem and the physical front chemistry, which I really don't care about. So it doesn't really bother me. If you're one of those dudes that you really care about the chemistry that that offers for your team, uh, feel free to spend the coins, but just understand that I don't think that the value uh, what he's going for right now, like he's like 900, 800,000 coins for a corner that's going to probably get dotted on the C route. It doesn't matter what the zone coverage is. It's going to probably hurt, even though he is like a 93 zone. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to flip Willie Brown because obviously if you watch uh, any of my live streams on, on Twitch or on YouTube, you would know that Willie Brown will never start on my team ever again. But I'm using him right now in the lineup just to have the overall add to my overall so I can get it higher and do those other solos. Uh, with the 94 and 95 overall to get the bonus coins. I think they have like 190k worth of coins when uh, I, I do all the math of what's left for the overall challenges. So you can see I put him in there at the 97 overall, and we're going to go ahead and jump into a game right now and see how he does. Now, I will tell you this. The right side of the field where he plays was completely locked up. And what was interesting about him, he actually plays flat zones like flats. It's like, it, it's, it's like really, really weird because you guys are probably like, what are you talking about? Uh, if you put him in a flat zone, he's probably he's supposed to play the flat. That's not what happens in Madden 18. What happens in Madden 18 is you do you utilize however you want to do your buttons, and then the computer decides what you're going to actually do. It's just the nature of the business. It doesn't really matter. Like, if I put him in a flat, he'll play a purple. I put him in a cloud, he'll play a hook zone. Like, it just, it just depends on what EA is feeling at the moment. Plus, what happens is a lot of you guys don't realize, depending, at, depending uh, on where you are on the field, when you do quick adjustments, the actual buttons for what they're supposed to be doing changes. I don't know if you guys are aware about that. You know what I'm saying? It's EA does things with the game that just makes no apparent sense, so you can't really always be certain that your player is in what they're supposed to, you know, what they're supposed to be in. But if you globally do it, like if you press triangle or Y and then you do uh, down on the, on the right analog, it's supposed to put everybody in a flat. You know what I'm saying? Like it's certain things like that. But even with that being done, EA will still find a way to just do whatever they want with your player. So what you're going to see in this game, right, uh, as we start to get it going, right here, I'm just going to throw a hot one right to the defender. He should have picked it, but I don't know what he was doing. Um, this guy, I don't know what he was doing the entire game. I think he's a bum. Well, actually, I don't think it. I, I, I'm kind of certain that he is. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Let's just go ahead and talk about the fact that I had to, you know, just hit him deep for six real quick. Now, we already know the, the red zone is the dead zone. We're going to go ahead and just, you know, run this in right fast and just get this touchdown. But again, what we're going to focus in on is the right side. You see, like, he has a gold star on him. That's just be it's just because he originally starts off as a gold card because he was a rookie premier. And like I said, that's very, very key. It'll throw off your opponent. Yo, and that's Bo Jackson right there. For all of you guys that say that Bo Jackson doesn't fumble, there goes right there. Because, oh, bro, my Bo Jackson never fumbles. I run around a conservative and I wear a diaper and I'm 19. Yeah, bro, whatever. Do what you got to do. But it doesn't really matter to me. I'm showing you proof that Bo Jackson is pure garbage. That dude will fumble the ball at any time. He doesn't care about anything. I, I'm trying to let you guys understand that it's it's weird the way it happens. But, like, okay, drop the ball. Drop the ball. Good job. That's the way you do it. Um, it's just some weird things that happen within the game. And... I don't really care about the attributes. You see like that? Like, they're going to drop these balls. That's just what's going to happen. And I got to deal with it like a man and go to psychotherapy. And that's pretty much what it, you know, what it's all about. So look now. You see what Lattimore is doing. Just watch Lattimore on the right. You see how, you see the coverage he's in? That was, that, that I had him in a cloud flat. Now, you see how he stays back to try to prevent, because he's probably running, you know, the out route, whatever, what, I forgot, what is it, like corner strike or whatever. You see what he's doing? You see how he plays it? And, and, and you, he was about to run up the field with him. And that's a cloud flat. Other corners don't play that. Like Willie Brown would have went to the concession stand and tried to flirt with one of the, you know, somebody that was selling hot dogs. Willie Brown is one of the most ridiculous corners in this game. That guy sucks. He really, really sucks. It's so bad the way he sucks. Okay, just throw it up. Just throw it up. Just do whatever you want, bro. That's what I'm trying to do. Just let me just do whatever I want. You know what I'm saying? Why, why would I throw that right there? And I don't know why. Oh, Dot. Dot. Did he, he hold on to it? Oh, that's pretty cool. I thought he was going to drop it. You know, I'm always waiting for the drop. It, it's so bad that I always expect him to drop the ball. If you guys know what I'm talking about, go ahead and like the video. Like right there, he's wide open. I expect them to drop the ball. That's how bad this game is. Like a dude will be wide open and I got to wait and hold my breath until after I actually see him catch it for it to, you know, it, I don't know. But like I said, the way that it's going with Madden, uh, probably going into 19, they're going to probably drop the ball a little bit more just to induce more rage because I think that they're on to something. 
they figured out a way to make the game addictive, yet so bad that you continue to play it. And they've successfully been able to do that to a lot of the people that simply just want to play Madden. It's an unbelievable thing that they've been able to do. Because realistically, if it was probably any other game, it depends though. Because a lot of you guys that like basketball, you still play 2K and you complain about it. And then you don't like me, I like Madden, but I complain about it. It's kind of weird. It just depends on what you like more. Because there was a time when I was really into live, but that was way back. Like, you know, EA Sports was making it for the regular PlayStation and it was pretty good. I would play it then. And then they had the, um, you know, obviously 2K basketball took on, took over or whatever. And I think 2K13, 2K13 and 2K14, I really liked. I think those are the two that I liked. And then all of a sudden, they just started doing whatever they wanted. And I have no idea. Like, this guy is jumping in the air, and I have no idea why he's doing that because I was trying to actually possession catch that. But sometimes they just automatically jump up in the air because I think that the Madden developers, they wanted the players to be hyenas. But they just, you know, they had to deal with the regular bodies of humans for the game. I think they had a different vision of being idiots. And they wanted to make the guys react like they were on a bungee jumping marathon or something like that. Because everybody just jumped so high. And I just threw that pick right to Renfro. Yeah, that was a wild pick. I didn't expect him to play it like that. That dude, has, that, you know, he has like a thousand zone. Because I think that based on the play that he was running, I think he was in, what, what was it? I don't even know what that was. It looked like it was like one of those light purples. And he, he went outside, then he went back inside, and then he picked it. It was rather interesting the way it happened. I kind of liked it. It, it. it definitely turned me on a little bit. But just, just a little, though. Not excessively to the point where, you know, I was ready to go. But just a little bit, I was a little bit turned on when he picked me off right there. So going on uh, with the rest of the way the game is going, I know now that the way that Lattimore is playing, I don't really need to worry about. If you just look at him on the right side, you see the way he's playing it? That's all computer. And I don't know why he's playing so well. Because unless the man coverage threshold and the zone, thresh, the, the zone coverage threshold has to both be ab above 91, 92, it doesn't make any sense. I'm thinking that that might have something to do with it. Because remember, you see like how the other thing, what, what was the other threshold I was doing? When it was like both of them were like, it was like um, with the finesse move and the block shed, like with, um, what is that What is that dude's name that I have on the other team that's kind of garbage right now? I forgot his name. He's over there on the other, wh where is he, bro? I forgot what he, I ha actually had to tear him up. Joey Bosa. Like he has the, he has the block shed and he has the finesse move and it's above the tier. So he's just like really, really glitchy. Anything to his side, he actually attacks so well. And I'm thinking now that if you have, like, you know, high man coverage and high zone, they just play like animals. And that's probably – okay, I don't – I think he threw that ball because I just realized I ran right to the back of my running back some, for some reason. Now I see why that was a Stevie. I didn't know when it happened, what happened to uh, Phillip Rivers. I thought he was just being a complete idiot. But it looks like I was being hit by my own player while throwing it, and that's why he threw that so poorly because my receiver was open. Um, but it was just thrown right to the safety the way that EA Sports intended it to go. But that, that's what I'm probably... What is this idiot doing? Why is he jumping after he catches it? I'm really thinking that that must be the case. Because other than that, it doesn't make any sense. I don't really know what... What? What, what is that? I don't know. Whatever. I don't know why he would be playing that well. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to see with the man in zone, if they're both above 91, I'm going to see if that's the way EA changed it as far as the meta goes. Because like you see Calvin Johnson. I, that was supposed to be a pick, but he caught it anyway. That's just the way the game goes. That's, that's called through my body. But... For some reason, that has to be because I, I think that that's I think I think that that's what it is. I think that if they're above ninety one, both man and zone, that they just play very very well. Because I'm looking at the way that Latimer was playing this entire game, and he just covered the entire field, similar to the way that that Deion Sanders did my ninety overall. That I you know the upgraded version goat. He had decent. He had like ninety four man, but he had like ninety zone. But he played like he had nine, the ninety one zone meta. So I'm he just threw the ball. I had, the, I had the fat animal, the Dominican Sioux, in a spy, and he threw the ball right there, and the Dominican Sioux just wanted to eat extra hamburgers and didn't jump up in the air and try to knock the ball down. I don't understand why that just happened. Um, but anyway, like I said, even with what I'm about to do right now, I'm about to send a, a crazy blitz off the edge. If, if you look on the right side while he's getting sacked on this last play, just watch what Lattimore does with, with the zone coverage. Just watch. Just watch what he does. He plays it. You see how he's, he, he's there? It doesn't matter what's thrown to that side. He's in that position, and those are cloud flats. Nobody else that I know that I've used to this point played it like that, and that's the only difference that they have is that this guy had a lot of man coverage and he had the zone coverage threshold. So I don't know. I'm going to continue to experiment with it and figure out what's going on and then possibly be able to get back to you because I think Willie Brown 
had similar things, but Willie Brown was just total garbage. So I got to wait and see exactly what's going on. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. Let's go with a video view goal for this video at about 50,000. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.